Welcome to MoviMod and Field Distributors Basic and Intermediate Training. This is Session 9. We're now moving into the second part of our class. We've covered MoviMods, and now we're going to move on to Field Distributors. So this session and the next two will cover those, and then our class will be finished. Let's begin by outlining the knowledge and skills goals that I have for you as you work your way through the next three sessions. First of all, I'd like you to be able to understand what field buses are and how field distributors help implement field bus communication. We'll talk about how you can identify field distributor models and interfaces because there are quite a few. We'll talk about the I.O. connections and status LEDs on the field bus interface modules. We'll discuss how to set up Movimot to work with a field distributor. We'll cover getting connected to a field bus interface. We'll configure the field bus gateway. And we'll control the Movimot over a field bus. There's a lot of documentation out there for field distributors, so I'm going to include links in the description to the video below, so definitely take a look at those. As you can see, there are quite a few different manuals. We have one manual for each field bus standard. You can download these from seweurodrive.com. And now let's move on and talk about field distributors. First of all, let me define a few terms. The first one is field bus. A field bus is an industrial network that links devices such as VFDs and PLCs together. The PLC acts as the controller and the VFDs are controlled devices. The field bus is sort of the glue that connects everything together. Closely tied to that is the term field bus interface. You can see one right here in this picture. This particular one is an Ethernet IP field bus interface. It's a module that implements a particular field bus standard. Most of them also include some extra I.O. connections to expand the capabilities of the Movimot. What field bus standards are available? Currently, there are six. Profinet, Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, Profibus, Interbus, and DeviceNet. The ones in green are what are called modern field bus standards. These are ones that are based on Ethernet type networking. The remaining three in blue are what I call classic field bus standards. These were all developed in the 1970s or 1980s. They're generally based on older networking technologies, so really they're legacy field buses, but there's a lot of them out there today still connecting things together, so SEW Eurodrive is very good about supporting them, as well as the more modern ones that use Ethernet as their networking infrastructure. Another term is field distributor. A field distributor is an enclosure, and it holds a field bus interface and may include connectors and or a maintenance switch. You can see both of those on this example field distributor. This is a Model Z8. You can see the connector in the lower right corner underneath the gray cover, and that maintenance switch in the upper left corner, the big black switch. So this is one field distributor, but SEW Eurodrive makes actually six different models. A field distributor may attach directly to the side of the Movimot. You can see an example here in the picture. It can mount near it, or it can actually hold the Movimot's control head within the field distributor. The picture on the right shows that. Now, a very important note here I'd like you to understand. Technically, the term field distributor just refers to the enclosure. However, many people use the term for the complete package, the field bus interface, plus the field distributor. I'm going to be using that term throughout the remainder of this class. Let's take a quick tour of the six available field distributor models. Here they are. They all begin with the letter Z. We have the Z1, Z3, Z6, Z7, Z8, and Z9. They were all developed over time to solve different customer needs, so you can see we offer a lot of possibilities here. Let's go over the models individually so you can know what differentiates them. We'll start with the Z1. This is the simplest. It's basically just a box that bolts onto the side of the Movimot or mounts near it. You can see it's just barely bigger than the field bus interface module that plugs into the top of it. So this is the simplest example. I have this on my demo unit, so I'll be using it for my demonstrations. The Z3 is just a slight step up from the Z1. 
It adds some connectors, but otherwise is very similar. It mounts near the MoviMod equipped motor. The Z6 is a definite jump up. It includes both connectors and a maintenance switch, and it mounts nearby. The Z7 takes this to another level by holding the MoviMod control head within the frame of the field distributor. It mounts near the motor and it connects to the motor with a cable. It's definitely an improvement on the standard MoviMod mounted nearby approach because it adds that field bus interface module and connectors. The Z8 model adds a maintenance switch to the features found in the Z7. Again, you can see the MoviMod control head mounted within it. And then finally, the really deluxe model, the Z9. This holds three MoviMod control heads. It can have an optional maintenance switch. There isn't one in the picture here, but some versions do include that. So this can control three separate motors since it holds three MoviMods within it. If you're familiar with other SEW Eurodrive products, you might be saying, this reminds me of something. And actually it does. The Z9 field distributor is functionally similar to a MoviFit MC. There are a lot of field bus interface modules. You can see some of them shown here. We have several that support Profibus and DeviceNet. And then we have three Ethernet models, one for Profinet, one for Ethernet IP and one for EtherCAT. There's also a module for the Interbus field bus standard, which is not shown here. Interbus is not very common these days, but SEW Eurodrive did support it, so it's possible you might encounter one. These modules include varying amounts of I.O., so you need to look at the individual specifications to know exactly what you're getting. Let's talk about a few of the details associated with field distributors and field bus interface modules. First of all, this is the overall picture of a field bus installation. You can see all the different field distributors in use here. You can see the Z1 both mounted on a MoviMod and near it, a Z3 and a Z6 mounted nearby. You can see the MoviMod mounted within the Z7 and the Z8. You can also see the triple MoviMod version of the Z9. So all these connect up to a field bus and they control their individual motors. This is a close-up of a field bus interface. This particular one is for Profibus, but they're all quite similar. All of them have an engineering port under a cover in the lower left corner. They'll have a number of status LEDs to indicate the status of the module and the network. The function of the lights will vary depending on the network type. Then there will be I.O. connectors, which are in this metric round format. All the I.O.s include status LEDs to show what's going on. You can see this particular module has four digital inputs and two digital outputs. Do be aware, however, the number and type of connectors will vary from module to module. This is the back of one example module. Some field bus interface modules include a removable memory module, which carries the unit's parameters. This can be swapped in a maintenance situation. All of them include a dip switch bank. The interfaces for classic field bus standards have dip switches only. They do not include memory modules. The Ethernet IP and Profinet interfaces include a memory module and dip switches. The EtherCAD interfaces have dip switches only. Again, there are a lot of variations here, so you really have to look at the individual manuals for the different interfaces to understand exactly which features are present and how they work. Some miscellaneous information here. There are numerous variations and options to give maximum customer flexibility. I'll also mention that a few of the field bus interfaces include something called IPOS Plus. That's a built-in programming language that allows you to add some automation capabilities to a basic MoviMot. If you've heard the name IPOS Plus before, it's probably in connection with one of our flagship VFDs, the MoviDrive B. But there is a version of IPOS available that does operate on some field bus interfaces, so be aware of that. With a field distributor, it is possible to use the SEW Eurodrive EI7 series of encoders, which can give improved speed control of your MoviMot. 
And if you have a module with IPOS built into it, it is possible to do simple positioning if you have an encoder. Field distributors are IP65 standard, but IP66 is optionally available. So these units are pretty resistant to their environment. Now, a couple of warnings. Warning number one, if it's present and in the off position, the maintenance switch prevents the motor from moving, but it does not disable all power to the unit or render it electrically safe. So in other words, when the maintenance switch is in the off position, if you lock it in place with a lockout tagout kind of lock, it will keep the motor from turning. So it is a safety feature in that sense. However, it does not disable the electricity within the field distributor, so it is possible to get shocked. If you're going to work with the unit electrically, you really need to lock out and tag the entire electrical supply to the field distributor. So the maintenance switch is really just to immobilize the motor. Be careful. Second warning, before opening a field distributor, disconnect all power sources and wait at least one minute. If you don't do this, you could get shocked. This gives the capacitors within the Movimot time to discharge and become safe. Well, that was a very quick overview of the features of field distributors. So this is the end of session nine. In session 10, we're going to look at how we set up our Movimot to work with a field distributor and then how to configure the field distributor to control it. So see you then.